So now I want to create a character that's in the uh, rural area of my game and something like here and it will be a she, she will be like hey it would be really nice if you could uh, write the game for us so you could just go ahead and approach her and select the button and then go to the play store page to write the game because that's pretty important. Uh, you need to ask the players to rate your game, otherwise they won't actually do that for you. So let's get started. I want to, the first step that I have to do is that I have to create a character. To do so, I'm not going to uh, model an entire character in Blender or um, download it from somewhere. I would just go ahead and use Adobe Fuse CC Beta. Um, the, it's the beta um, version which has been discontinued um, like four years ago so it's pretty old it's uh, quality is not that great you could probably go ahead and use some other applications if you could it would be great if you could just go ahead and model everything uh, or maybe you could model in uh, ZBrush I don't know that's completely up to you for me Adobe Fuse just does the work pretty well and I'm pretty satisfied with it. So I want something simple so something that's uh, actually like the um, most simple version. Yep that's cool. Uh, this one is cool. And this one is cool as well. So she's pretty simple. Okay, what about the customize? I want to customize the character a little bit, but not too much. I don't want, want to go to the details, maybe add a little bit something like that. Maybe changing the chick would do nice. Uh, maybe changing this part. Maybe. This look to the size would be nice as well. Um, I want a bigger nose, I want a more beautiful nose, probably a smaller nose. Uh, lips should be smaller and higher, probably. Yep. Yes, that's not cool at all. Okay, cool. What about the eyes? Okay, that's actually good. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it. What about the clothing? So, tops, tops. What else? What do we have here? Oh, something pretty simple, maybe something rural. I mean, this looks rural to me. What about the button buttons? Um, this one's pretty simple. The top isn't good actually. Doesn't look good now. It's, it's too bad. What about this? Hmm. Smalling is not so good. It's not terrible, terrible, but it's not great at all. Oh, this one looks actually good. Yeah, it looks simple, it looks um, probably a little bit close to what I need. Um, what about the shoes? Okay, so she's... Maybe this is... Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Um, okay, hair. Hair should be super simple. I don't want to get myself engaged with different things, different scenarios. But not ugly. Ugly is not what I want. So simple. This is good. Hats, probably. We could use some hats, uh, but it must be bigger. Okay, it fixed it. That's cool. Okay, that's super cool. 
Ooh. Eyewear. I don't want any eyewear. Oh, gloves more probably. Oh. Eyewear. Hats. Masks. No. Those mustaches. I don't like mustaches. What about the texture work? Texture works just fine. Okay, this character is, I believe, good enough for me to proceed. Uh, maybe I want to change the tops to... Uh, maybe there's something that's better than this. Mm, it's worse. To make it. Uh, what else? Do we... maybe... Uh, this is this is the best one so far, I guess. No, this is not good. Too. This is the best one. Yeah. Okay. This looks good. Um. So now I have to export it. Uh, export the model as OBJ is. If it were four years ago, we could easily use this animate with mixing robot. Now mm, we can't because they discontinued working on it so now we have to export the model and pack textures and UVs um, the textures should be 1024 but now 2048 is nice triangulate mesh doesn't matter we don't need it okay um, so export uh, yeah 20 days later is fine uh, Google rate me woman probably rate me woman not woman okay so now we're going to wait a little bit um, I've already opened up the mixemo.com so now we can upload the character and um, drag and drop the character to okay that was probably a what why oh you know why we need to so now I have to open file location and then I need to drag and drop it okay okay so now we have an auto rigger it's pretty nice our chin is here don't need to be precise with it it just works pretty well just um, have to approximately be correct knees okay and groin around here okay so next okay now it's pretty well even the fingers are working pretty nicely so that's cool yes I want to proceed uh, now I want some animations first of all I need an idle animation which is just an idle This is nice, I believe. Yeah. But it could be a little bit too big, so I don't want it to be too big. 250 is a lot as well. 250. It's gonna be too big. I don't need mm, too big. Okay then, 250 it is I guess, it's gonna be a little bit big, some megabytes probably, some 3 megabytes, but this is what it is what it is, unfortunately, so now we have to uh, download it. Now we need a, um, probably a talking animation, or maybe a hey animation, let's see if we have something.
we don't have a... What about talking animation? I mean, it's completely uh, up to you if you want to go ahead and animate it for yourself. There's a ton of tools out there that you can use, but now, for me, I just would like to download everything. Okay, a talking animation. Uh, this looks good enough for me, so let's download that. Okay, now it's downloading, I'm coming here, I'm going into the content animations, right click a new uh, folder called rate it woman um, and in here I'm going to my downloads uh, and I have I, an idol and uh, I have an idol and a talking animation I want to import the mesh that's for both of them though so I have to do them one by one so idle first I want to import the mesh I want to import the animations the animation length is uh, exported time I don't want to create a new material since we don't have any material but that's uh, okay I guess it's only so yeah we don't need yeah create new materials that's fine and import all let's see what we will get okay so the animation is here uh, we need to fix the materials though okay that's cool enough for me okay um, and now we are importing the next one we don't need to import the mesh we will though uh, use the idle skeleton and export it time for animation length and import it And this is the talking animation, which is working just fine. Okay, so now it's time for us to fix the material. To do that, right click, set a new material, uh, M underline, um, rate it. Yeah, and um, since we've where was it? Yeah, uh, in the where we exported our OBJ, it will usually export the textures as well. So this is our diffuse texture. We can easily drag and drop it um, probably here. So just like that, and then find the material, and everything will work just fine. We will be using other uh, textures as well though like normal is pretty important opacity is important um, so let's see um, let's see opacity will be important let's see if it's important though so let's drag them both in here normal will go here opacity will go on um, uh, in the opacity mask probably and let's see if it's set to masked okay it's a little bit better not too much what if we um, don't have any mask material I mean, yeah it doesn't change too many variables what if it's translucent though Maybe that's the thing. Mm, it's worse. So we won't be having any opacity mass. That's final. Um, and I guess we shouldn't need anything else. Glossiness is fine to my eyes. 
Only the eyelashes look really, really bad, which is completely normal. It's one of the problems with uh, mixing fuse, which you can't really see in mobile, but if you're working on PC, that's gonna be a huge problem. Okay, now that it's gone, um, we got everything, we'll save everything, and now let, it's time for us to create the blueprint for ourselves. So, in our starter content blueprint, um, right click, we want a blueprint class which is an actor, uh, we will call it BP Rated. Um, and then we'll add a skeletal mesh and our skeletal mesh is going to be idle we'll have, we have a lot of idle okay and uh, we need a an anim BP for it so let's create that in our animation folder in the uh, woman Right click, animation, uh, what is it, animation, animation, blueprint and we will need to select the idol which is the name of this uh, skeleton mesh. Type in animbp, rate it. Okay, so now we need to do two things. First of all is the animation, um, the next one will need default slot slot because later on we'll use the talking animation as a uh, default so as an anim montage so and then the next step will be right click on the talking uh, create an anim montage that's it um, and we'll need a collision a box collision for us So if the character uh, enters this collision, the woman will shout, please rate the game. The character will need a capsule component as well, oh, a capsule collision. Um, um, capsule collision, yeah capsule collision which will be blocking things block all yes I wanted to block everything and it's a nice it's nice it's enough how far to read this is a little bit bigger okay um now the anim BP for it is rate it and um, when the characters coming inside this, we will add a begin overlap if it's the third person character, which um, I'm using third person character as my character. Uh, if it goes inside, I already created a dialogue system, which um, you can watch, it's the um, latest episode. And I have already created some uh, some audio for it. The dialogue system is pretty simple. Let me... Oh, okay. It's because of that. Okay. So it just creates uh, a sound to the plays it and uh, audio. If if it finish it finishes it, it will set visibility of the subtitle. Uh, whenever it's working, it will set visibility of this auto to be visible and then it collapse. Um, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. The audio though, we need to go into the... Uh, I already have created some audio for myself that are... Yeah, this is the first audio. The text is... You will help the developer a lot if you rate 
the game. Thanks. Okay. And it will play the anime montage. Montage. That is in uh, our animation. Uh, rated woman. And this is the montage we already created. Okay, let's see. Targets. Doesn't need a target though, does it? No, it shouldn't need a target. Play montage. No, this is not it. Let's play any montage. Play any play montage. It's not it though, but anyway, montage is this. And let's see. Okay, so now um, we'll have to. Put it in our scene to see if it works. Oh, that's pretty big. Um, shouldn't be this big though. So the box is not going to be big. It's pretty big. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I guess. Okay, let's see if it works. So let's first. Oh, there she is. I'm out of it. You will help the developer a lot if you wait the game. Thanks. Ha! Huh, that's cool. That's really cool. So now I have some other audios as well. I can just go ahead and for the audio part, um, I can play the montage. I can use the play montage later. I can use a sequence here um, and then a multi gate, multi gate to make it random. Uh, and then I'll use some dialogues because I have different sounds for it. Okay, where are the rest? You can help me develop the game even further by rating the game thank you okay what's next um what do we have to be a bond please consider rating the game if you are enjoying it please consider rating the game if you are enjoying it. Okay, it's a rating game if you are enjoying it. Okay. So the target should be okay. One more, it's the last one. Our target is going to come here and then the last one is Hey, would you mind taking a moment to rate the game? Okay, cool. Now let's see. You 
can help me develop the game even further by writing the game. Thank you. Oh, I probably forgot to. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, I forgot to do. Hey, do you mind taking a moment to write the game? Okay. Okay, sometimes it's all working and we should move on. So now I have already created a function in this other th um, uh, characters which has this an piece of animation that's got the customize button. In this case, uh, the uh, I have to change the customize hot to be able to change things. So I need to uh, copy and paste this. This piece of code here to have everything working. Okay. Now I have this and um, okay, this comes in here. This will co be copy and pasted. Please wait a little bit, I'll explain everything in a moment. I'll have to uh, use an on component and overlap as well. This one right here, and the other actor is the character. Okay, so in my heart... I'll find it. I have a button that's specifically for customize so I have some characters as you can see um, that are interactive you can just come close to them and interact with them there's there they are like shop managers so you can trade inside so all of them are working with one button which is the customize button in this case, we'll use the customize button to go into the play store and rate the game. So let's do that. Um, so if I go ahead in the unpressed, I have the customize event. So what does customize event do? If it's not customizing, it will Dude, it will, it will do a lot in here. Okay. But in my case, I want it to only... So if the cause... Um, so if it's set to zero, it will do something. If it's set to one, it will do something else. But if it's set to 2, I want to do something else. Range. If it's set to 2, I want to launch a um, URL. The URL is... Um, play console. Doing something else here. So this is the view on Google Play. This is the um, Google Play page. I want to navigate them to the Google Play page, and uh, this is the URL. Uh, there's no other way to make them uh, write a review for you. You could only navigate them to the page. Uh, Google won't let you do something else. This is the whole thing. You'll just um, 
copy and paste the link to your home page and that's it they can write the review there they have to decide that for themselves by the way so it's set to two for me so now I have to I'll set it to two somehow okay so first of all we uh, yeah this is it I have to set this to two and this should be working just fine Uh, where is it? Okay, so if I come here, this is coming here. Okay, it's working. If I click on it, it opens this one. If I go out, if I come in here, it doesn't do anything. Okay, it broke. that's that's pretty bad oh I know what I know what that is I'm using it do once I have to <laughs> use customize reset afterwards customize reset I have to reset it okay now let's try again okay where is it okay now hey, I'm launching the character coming back I can uh, probably everything's fine now I can come in here and trade yay now everything's working just fine okay cool I have the customize here it's working I can go ahead again to the you can help me develop the game even further by writing the game Thank you. Okay, write the game. Cool. And that's it. Um, if you're playing the game, I wish you a great time playing it. If you have any feedbacks, please let me know so I can develop the game. I can uh, make a better game for all of us to play. Um, and if you're a de game developer, I wish you a great week. I wish you the best of the best. Thank you.